They talked about some of their cool features on this van for sale, our 2020 Weekender. Um, starting in the back, let's start with the storage bags. The main reason we focus on a lot of um, storage is when you have a family of four, it's always difficult putting things away so people can sleep. So we have l track to hold up the four of these campo. These are semi-rigid semi um, storage bags that also are, act like a duffel bag. You can put two on this side and then two on this side. And we also in this van use an adventure wagon Moab bed. This is a bed that removes in less than 30 seconds. You can actually put two of them if you want. This is set up with a V2 wall kit, which gives you l track all the way to the bottom, runs all the way to the top. So you can run two different levels if you want to, or just have someone sleep on the floor, two on the floor and two on here. Um, in the back, we also have on this van, uh, a full screen system out the back door, which is really expensive to do. Um, and then even window covers throughout the van. And this shows you some rear speakers that were added on for the really highly upgraded audio system. And um, you can see back here, we have a factory trailer hitch and even a step that helps you get in and out of the van, which is really nice. There's an L2B carrier, which gives you more external storage. You could add boxes, bike racks, ski racks on top of that. When you step inside the van, you'll see we have uh, outlets, 12 volt outlets, USB outlets, so you can charge computers, phones, tablets. We have a vented Max Air fan, which is a uh, heat controlled, heat sensitive, so it has a thermostat in there, which is really nice. And um, we have vented screed windows. So when you have a fan, you need vented windows so you can pull cool air in or push air out. These also incorporate a screen system that slides all the way away. So you can actually have this fully opens up. So dogs and dogs like them and stick their heads out the window and everything. This is a adventure wagon mule bag. We like these because they're semi rigid. They're huge. If you hit your head on this, you don't cut your head open like a cabinet and take up less space, but have twice as much storage to a cabinet. And they're semi-rigid, so they're not these soft, fluffy bags. They actually look like a, act like a, a semi-rigid cabinet. And you can put one here, one here, and then one here, which gives you, between that and the bags below, gives you a ton of storage. So you can actually sleep in the van and carry gear. The problem we see with most vans that have even two bunk systems, there's no room to store your gear. They're just not well thought out. When you have all your gear in the van, you wanna sit down and have lunch or eat, or if the weather's bad, have a dining area. So we put a lagoon system and two swivel seats in this van. Um, the lagoon system's nice because this moves out of the way, sink so in and out of the van. Makes a really nice feature. Again, you don't have to move gear to eat. I think that's just really well overlooked on all the builds you see uh, for families. We have interior LED lighting throughout. We also have a full screen up here on the sliding door. And we have an S-Bar D2 heater with a pro controller. Some people don't realize the less expensive Webastos don't have a high altitude control and people don't think about um, the differences between the heaters, these small details really count in a build. A lot of, a lot of this stuff is completely overlooked. Another nice thing about this van is it's fully insulated and sound deadened on the walls, doors, and headliner. Um, really greatly reduces the noise in the van and gives it really nice insulation properties. So it's cold or warm, it'll actually really help with temperature control. Inside the van, we have a 360 degree camera, cruise control, lane assist. Really a well thought out build. Over $52,000 into this van. And it's details like these, the flexibility to carry eight, this eating area, the sleeping, the storage flexibility is just unheard of. And um, most vans, they're just not thought out this well. This is a, a really a similar build to what we do in some of our vans that sell well over $160,000. This uh, also has uh, aluminum side steps, which are really nice uh, getting in and out.
Of course, we have some eye candy, but BFG KO2 tires, which gives you a lot more traction than stock. We also did a fender mod on this, so you can actually go to a bigger tire if you want more ground clearance. The luminous surf pole and surf hooks can hold up to two stand-ups or two long boards. The ladder gives you access to the 200 watts of solar on top. If you notice, we don't have a battery compartment in this van. We hid it in the auxiliary batteries in the hood. They're charged not only by solar, but by the alternator. Um, so you can run a fridge 24 seven, run a heater or fan, no problem in this van, whether you're driving or standing still uh, for camping. You see the factory trailer hitch as well in the back. Um, and the reason we put the spare tire is it allows you to put a water tank if you want it for outdoor shower where the spare tire was. So a water system can be added onto this van really, really easily for outdoor shower. Makes this van really a great van for a family at the beach, mountains, someone has dogs, um, wants to go to soccer games and just have the maximum amount of flexibility. Fiamma awning also gives you some nice shade. If you have any questions or are interested in this van, give us a call, 760-349-6761. You could save, uh, compared to doing something new, save almost $30,000 off a new build. And this thing only has 14,600 miles. Literally, it's a new van.